Well, hello there, Leo. How are you? It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. So today we are celebrating this big Pluto transit into Aquarius. So back in 2008, Pluto entered Capricorn, and it's been there for the last 15 years. And now it is starting to transit into Aquarius. It actually won't stay in Aquarius. So it'll kind of go back and forth between Capricorn and Aquarius during 2023, but it will eventually um, stay in um, Aquarius starting in January of 2024, and I'll stay there for the next 20 years. So this is a very long transit. Um, so today we are going to be celebrating that, um, taking a look at how Pluto has transformed because Pluto is all about transformations. It's the Scorpio energy of death, rebirth, secrets, scandals, um, all coming to light. So we'll take a look at how that has maybe played out in your sixth house since 2008. Pluto has been in your sixth house of wellness, work, and daily habits. Um, so we'll take a look at how that may have transformed, okay? How you um, kind of basically, you know, take care of yourself on a daily basis. The way that you work, could totally be different, you know, um, especially after the pandemic, you could have been having like a nine to five job before and um, back in 2008. And now you could be, you know, working from home or started your own business. You, it, It's also about how you take good care of yourself, you know, the way that you have transformed since 2008 and maybe your exercise regime or your spiritual practices, you know, those things that you do on on a daily basis. It's helped you to see how you maybe held yourself back from being, you know, um, the, 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 in alignment with your true self over the last 15 years in the area of daily habits and, um, and wellness and work. Now it's moving into your seventh house of committed relationships and partnerships. So this could be, you know, relationships, um, anything that you have kind of like a contract with. So it could be, you know, a romantic partnership, a marriage. It could um, also be a business partnership. It could be anything where you kind of have a partnership with somebody else. So over the next 20 years, Pluto is going to help you to transform in that area to have a better um, understanding of what it is that you value in partnerships and romantic relationships, right? And having those come into more alignment with who you are and who you want to become, you know, um, on your path as you evolve more and more every single day. So um, we're going to take a look at this. Um, <laughs> I have a lot of cards here. Um, I also want to mention that, um, you know, I really have been doing some kind of like studying about Pluto. And especially at my age, I've been around long enough uh, when I was doing some research research, I could go back and kind of see how Pluto played out in my life. So I kind of created a little bit of a journal activity, a reflection about, you know, uh, the transit since 2008, how your life may have changed, and then what you can expect as you move forward these next 20 years. So there's a link in the description box. It's totally free. It's a gift from me to you. <laughs> I really truly appreciate all of your support. So you may want to check that out. And um, especially, if you know you are kind of coming into recognizing okay how some of this may have impacted your life especially since 2008 all right so let's get into your reading let's see what we have here navigating by the stars follow your bliss okay a leo i truly feel like since 2008 you have decided that your daily life is not going to be part of the grind <laughs> right because pluto being in capricorn Corn really highlighted how we work and how we value ourselves in the hours that we work, right? Um, how much we produce, how we kind of compete with other people in the work arena. And I feel like you have kind of decided to pull yourself away either from, you know, work 
in general, in, you know, starting your own business or, or going your own way, perhaps leaving the corporate world and starting, you know, your own business, but you're kind of navigating by the stars, you know, this energy of, yeah, there's more to life <laughs> than being tied to a desk and, you know, just working or working for somebody else, right? Um, helping somebody else to acquire more, whereas, you know, your, your salary may have just kind of like slowly increased and you may have seen so many that you worked for <laughs> acquire a lot more in their life it's kind of like that could have dawned a little bit for you the other thing is you know coming back to your daily habits there is this energy where you know you could have noticed um how you know taking better care of yourself you may have carved out more time for exercise eating more nutritiously right understanding that yes i want to be on this journey longer. <laughs> so how do I take care of this vessel? How do I get this vessel to last a little bit longer? You could have seen people in your life or you could have even experienced in your own life, you know, uh, difficulties with your physical health or mental health and, and decided to do something about that. So let's start off with your, um, uh, 2008, what that transformed in especially your sixth house of wellness and daily habits, what transformed there, okay? Interesting, you have the death card. That is the Pluto energy, you know, that... Um, you had to, I think you did some true transformation in this area. When you look back and, you know, once again, that kind of like journal activity really has you look back to 2008, how you feel about the, the different areas of your life. And I would, you know, encourage you, even if you don't want to look at that, to just take some time to reflect how you have transformed. Your mindset may be very different about what you do on an on the day daily basis, you know, having, you could have brought in more structure to that, or you could have changed it completely and kind of be more intuitive, like waking up and just saying, okay, what do I feel like doing today, right? <laughs> Instead of going to the office and churning it out from nine to five. Yeah. And you know, you have no fear now to speak your truth to, um, it could be that maybe in 2008, you felt like you couldn't speak your truth. You couldn't stand up okay to your employer or the people that you were closest to right um and it's a little bit of this energy of now you you've learned how to navigate that to speak your truth to the people um and and to tell them what it is that you need on a daily basis right you could have been in a relationship where you only got a little bit now or maybe it, you only got enough to keep you going right and it was kind of like no i I, I need you, <laughs> I need our relationship to have some substance, you know, I want us to eat dinner together every single night, right, or I want us to eat breakfast every single day together, so that we have this time to talk, to share our thoughts, you know, our day, whatever it is, I feel like there's something there where you have learned how to communicate what you need on a daily basis with those people that you spend the most time with. And then resurrection, reconsider a project or recall a person from the past to resurrect an idea and then ambition. I feel, uh, you know, once again, to especially, uh, you know, this energy can come into play throughout 2023, okay? Um, and I feel like you're kind of looking back um, at something that maybe you have wanted to do for some time and you had to put it on the back burner. You're now coming out and you're saying, okay, wait a minute, I don't have any fear about going back and revisiting something that I do want, you know, something that you may have thought was over okay kind of re resurrecting resurrecting it whether it's a relationship or it's you know a, a business that you've always wanted to st start but you had to put it on the side for some reason there's something here that yeah ten of cups wow beautiful energy Ooh, tower yeah yeah i feel <laughs> i love this you are getting almost like this instant download inspiration for a fresh start um, and I, you know, with the justice energy coming in, I wouldn't be surprised if this is happening like really soon. Um, 
Pluto is going to be at zero degrees Aquarius between just about March 23rd and June 11th. Okay, so there's an intense Pluto energy here of, you know, finding that balance. You know, for some of you, you could be breaking down a contract that you have with somebody because you're moving into your seventh house of committed relationships and partnerships. So whether it's a business partnership or a marriage or something, it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready to bring something down to start something new, you know, um, and you know, you have the queen of pentacles, something that's near and dear to your heart, you know, because you have the 10 of cups, I think you are reviving, you know, the death card is all about <laughs> rebirth, you know, endings and new beginnings. And I feel like you're ready to go after something that your heart has truly wanted, especially you could have been a little bit confused for this for a while, and now you're getting that clarity. I think this tower, you know, a tower can be an epiphany, you know, having this epiphany. Now, wait a minute. This is what I want, you know, and really committing to it, you know, having the intention of seeing this to the end. Whether you want to start a new relationship, you want to end a relationship, or you want to start a new business, it's kind of like, okay, I'm ready for something new. And Leo, I feel like a lot of us are like that. The Pluto and Capricorn energy was very difficult. You know, moving into this Aquarius energy is going to be so much lighter and dreamier, and it's time to start dreaming big. What is it you would like to bring into the world? How would you like to make an impact on the world? What are your ideas, you know, and really starting to speak up about them and going after what it is your heart truly desires. So let's see where you are now in 2023, as far as your committed partnerships and relationships. Yeah, look at this. Be the real you, fool. You're going in a new direction. I feel like, you know, you may have, because you're ending the Capricorn energy with the death Death card, right? You're ending something. You're definitely ending a cycle, okay? It could even be a karmic cycle because we have the justice, but you are ending something. You're ending a career. You could be ending, you could be retiring at this time or really close, you know, but you're ending something so that you can go in a new direction, something that's more close to what it is that you want to create in this world or allows you to be who you truly are. You could be in a job that you feel like doesn't allow you to use your true skills and talents and to to step into your creative creativity or what it is that you want to put out into the world. You know, it's almost like, nope, nope, Leo, sit down. <laughs> no, you can't be creative. You can't, no, we don't want to hear your ideas. Just do the job that we want you to do, right? And now I think you're you're kind of like, this is ridiculous. You know, I, I want to go into a new direction. Yeah, accomplishment. There's something, the spirit is coming in to help you with this. My goodness, this gets me really excited. And then you have friendships. Special friends are there to bring, help me and bring me strength during difficult times. I think whatever you are ending is perhaps a little bit difficult. Um, not that you can't, you are all about courage, right? And having the strength to do it. But I feel like you're, you're wanting a special friend on this or wanting someone that you can talk to that will be supportive of this new path that you are, uh, you are stepping onto, right? And so if you are ending a relationship, you know, somebody that um, is just a good friend that you can kind of talk to um, as you're, you're venturing into, you know, perhaps um, uh, ending a marriage or ending a committed relationship, ending a business partnership, it's kind of like, okay, I just want somebody, you know, that'll listen to me. I feel like for some reason, you may feel like you haven't been heard in a long time. It's almost like you're craving somebody that you can talk to. Um, okay, so now let's take a look at Pluto. <laughs> One of the things about Pluto is that it shines lights on secrets, okay, and scandals. <laughs> but Leo, so let's see what is hidden from you at this time, especially perhaps in your seventh house. Yeah, uh, I mean, look at this. I think you have a new romance. <laughs> what you don't realize is that you have a new romance on the horizon. 
Um, uh, and if it's not a romance, say you're in a committed relationship that you don't want to leave, right? It's kind of like a refresh of the romance. Um, it could be that both of you are now taking um, jobs that are going to be more flexible with time, or perhaps you're even retiring or semi-retiring and stepping into this energy of having more time to kind of like travel and rebuild the romance within your relationship, right? Or perhaps you're just going to start taking uh, like a cooking class together or something, something that you can do together to kind of rekindle the romance in your relationship. The other thing is, is that if you're single, I feel like there is somebody on the horizon. This is a secret. This is something that is hidden from you at this time, right? That you are wanting, you know, you're kind of curious, you know, be spontaneous, wonder, look ahead and stretch above your present circumstances, you know, understanding wait a minute, you may feel very tired, I'm going to put it that way, in your area of romance or even business relationships, but it's kind of like this area of romance, you may feel a little bit tired, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, it's dull or something like that. There's, <laughs> there is definitely a burst of passion. You know, the Ace of Wands is all about passion, reigniting the passion in your relationship and riches flow into my life in many ways and many directions. Understanding that riches aren't just the tangible things that we can hold on to, right? It's not just the money and the, and the material objects in our life. The riches also are in those special relationships where we feel safe and secure, cherished and loved. And we also are that to somebody else. Wow, beautiful energy. Leo, I'm so excited for you. All right, so now let's take a look at, you know, before you can bring something in, you also have to allow something to leave. So let's see. Yeah, you have deeper insights. Look at all this courage. You have the courage. You know, the thing that I feel like you have to uh, leave behind, okay, is this idea that you don't want a fresh start. Wow. You know, I, I really, there's this energy here letting you know, look at this is all courage, <laughs> the strength card. This is your energy definitely showing up. The thing is, is that, you know, you could be in a job where it's kind of like, okay, well, if I wait five more years, then uh, I can cash out or, you know, some, your 401k or you, you, you get a big pay raise or something like that. I, I, I feel like there is this energy where you have convinced yourself a little bit, maybe that you don't need to change, that you can hold on, okay? And if it's a romantic relationship, I feel the same thing. It's kind of like, well, we've been married 35 years or we've been married, you know, 25 years or or whatever. You know, I, I guess we, we can be married another 20 years, you know, um, uh, not wanting to really kind of get out of the comfort zone. I feel like you're a little bit in a comfort zone. And you're, you're kind of wondering, would I rather wear my, and they're saying my cozy slippers, would I rather just sit here and wear my cozy slippers or am I really going to put on some dress shoes and leave the house and start, start something new, right? If, um, you know, it could be even you have gotten into the habit of working from home or, you know, um, you know, it, it's kind of interesting, you know, even doing these YouTube videos, you only see this part of me, right? <laughs> you don't uh, see my sweatpants and sneakers underneath <laughs> the desk. Um, it, it, it's like that for a lot of people, right? As we worked from home, it was okay, only you only have to make the waist up look presentable to the outside world. Now I feel like you kind of gotten into maybe a little bit of that rut. Um, there is this energy where you feel like you're kind of in a rut and yet at the same time you are really craving to have this fresh new motivation, this passion for life again, right? Um, but you also understand that takes a lot of courage. It takes a lot of courage to leave a relationship. It takes a lot of courage to change jobs. It takes a lot of courage to step out of your comfort zone and put yourself in new light. So um, let's take a look at that because, you know, this is what you have to, um, we're asking, what do you have to let go of? It, it's letting go of 
the, the energy of just being okay with being comfortable, you know, of, of being fearful of change because, and wow, you are just showing up again. Yeah. I feel like, you know, having the, the courage to go after love. I think you're hang you're hanging on. And this is a hangman energy, right? But I think you're just hanging on. You're hanging on in some situation that it is time to let go of. And you know, I'm going to say this, Leo, because this energy seems so strong here. One of the things that we have to realize is intuitively we when we know that a relationship or a situation has expired, right? It, it, there, there's no more gas in the tank for this, it seems like. That sometimes what we have to realize is that the tower will come in if we don't allow this to leave, right? The tower will come in and take it away. If it's no longer on our path, it may be time. You know, part of the problem is, is that you may be saying, well, I don't have a plan forward. Knowing intuitively your spirit guides, your angels know that you have the courage. You have courage here four times, okay? You have four cards representing you, <laughs> right? Uh, it's almost as if you have to allow yourself okay to transform you have to allow yourself to step out of your comfort zone you have to allow yourself to get inspired and passionate about moving forward towards something that is more close and dear to your heart following your heart following your bliss it's it's time and you know you have the ten of pentacles underneath i feel like it is going to be okay you are going to land on your feet things will work out for you you have security here i choose to feel secure and to work so that my bank account is full but i i feel like that is the the, the thing here you know i and i'm not saying right i mean we all have financial situations that we do have to be cognizant of, right? So I'm not saying throw out your job if you have no way to support yourself, right? It's, but it is, look, security, and then you have intuition. My intuition guides me to people, places, and jobs that I enjoy. Understanding, I feel like you've been working to try to save up some money or to save up that 401k or or whatever, but all of a sudden, I think you're gonna, you're kind of getting into this energy of, well, wait a minute. If I'm only working to fill up a bank account, right? Um, oh, what about my life? You know, what am I enjoying about my life? And I think that that's where you're kind of finding a better balance, perhaps, you know, of understanding, okay, if I'm going to work this job, then I also want three weeks of vacation, or I am not going to work on the weekend. I'm, you know, whatever it is, it's kind of like your daily life <laughs> over the last 15 years, you have done a lot of work, but it's kind of like you may have carved out time for pleasure here, but you haven't actually done it yet. You haven't stepped into that energy. So let's take a look at what blessings you have. Nine of Pentacles, welcome abundance into your life. Look at this. The abundance is there. I feel like you're really concerned about making a change because of the sense of security, knowing that you're secure where you are. But I also feel like it's kind of like soul sucking. You know, you're, you're not happy. And then you have happy uh, accident. I love this because you can't make up your mind. I, whatever this is, I think you know what it is. If it's resonating at all. There's this, the blessing is that there's a happy accident. <laughs> and then you have patience. I am patient, persistent, and disciplined in pursuing my goals. Not giving up. Knowing that there is something special that is ahead for you. That is going to help you to make this decision. You know, it could be, um, you know, a, a friend calls you up and says, you know what, Leo, I, uh, I, uh, I, you know, I, I got an inheritance and I want to start this business and I'd love to go into business with you. And you're kind of like, oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Like, am I going to take that venture? I think you are. I think you're seeing, you know what? There's, I think you're understanding. I want to go in a different direction. There's something very clear about understanding. For some of you, you could be almost a little bit of an energy of going through a kind of a little bit of a midlife crisis here. 
you know, and there could have been somebody that passed away that was close to you. You know, it could be an, a parent or a friend or something like that. There's almost this energy of understanding, what am I doing this for? I'm not having any, I'm not having any fun. And really and truly putting some energy towards bringing more pleasure and play into your life. Enjoying your days <laughs> more, right? Um, so let's take a look at advice from um, uh, Spirit. Look at this. You have door to value and preparation. Luck comes most often to the person and the place where preparation, opportunity, and skill meet. Yeah, yeah. And you have practice. Every day I practice my ability to reach my desired financial goals. I don't think you're throwing out your goals. You know, your financial goals. It's just understanding I want more balance in my life. You know, it's a little bit of this of this energy because, you know, um, you're... You're moving into your seventh house of committed relationships and partners and partnerships. It's understanding. Now, wait a minute. I, I want that balance. I also want people in my life that will listen to me, right? That we can have these discussions. This is also windfall, okay? Windfall from the universe. But there's this energy of really and truly saying, you know what? I really do want to have feel secure in my life. But I also want to have this experience of going out there and enjoying my life. Finding that balance and finding people in your life that allow you to have that balance, right? That could be, you know, you could be married to somebody that doesn't want to travel, doesn't want to have these experiences, right? And you're kind of like, okay, how can we balance this out in our relationship? Or do I need to, you know, find somebody else? It could be that, you know, your, your boss is not willing to let you have Say you want five weeks of vacation, right? And you're kind of like, I want five weeks of vacation. I'm willing to give up something to have five weeks of vacation. Your boss is like, no, if I give you five weeks, I'm going to have to give other people five weeks. No. And then that's maybe when you decide, okay, I'm going to go find another job where I can have five weeks of vacation. And also that sense of having financial security, um, having both, you know, understanding that the, you are wanting, there is this need, you know, within you to feel a little bit like a child again. Once again, that energy of almost recognizing, you know, um, wow, there, you know, uh, uh you know, how much more time do I have on this planet? And how do I want to spend that time? I feel like that is the energy here. All right. So, Leo, let's pull um, final advice from Spirit for you. And I do do personal readings. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Everything changes. A soft light radiates from my heart. It illuminates those around me and transforms every situation I encounter. I maintain a positive attitude in spite of any difficulties I may perceive. No matter the circumstances, I remain a source of true joy. Everything changes when it is bathed in the light of the divine. Yeah, I love that energy. Understanding that, you know, changes can come even when we change our mindset right, of bringing a new, fresh mindset to the relationships that you already have, you know, having those conversations, but also looking for the good, looking for the romance, looking for what is working in your relationships, right, but also understanding if, if it's not balanced, if I'm not getting what I need, I'm ready to go in a new direction, I'm ready to, to wander, <laughs> this wanderlust type of energy. Wow, beautiful energy. Well, I'm going to leave it there, Leo. I really do appreciate all of your support through liking, commenting, and subscribing. Uh, please check out that uh, free download. At the, uh, it's in, uh, <laughs> the link is in the description box below. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.